Welcome back. Thanks for joining me again. Sam the Electrician here, talking today, as usual, about Alberta separation and Western independence. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about the Wheatland Resolution, which is uh, gaining a little bit of notoriety out here in Alberta. Uh, it was a resolution tabled by one Mr. Jason Wilson of Wheatland County near Strathmore, Alberta. And the resolution was passed unanimously by the council there. And uh, now has been passed to other municipalities in Alberta for their input. And it essentially calls on the Alberta government to address the points in the resolution, which are essentially a modified version of the firewall letter that I've been talking about in the last few videos. Um, almost a copy of Mr. Downing's letter to Jason Kenney. Uh, slightly different for sure. I'll leave a link in the description to the Western Standard Online that reported this story and has included the entire resolution. So you can uh, give it a read for yourself, see what you think. Um, there's a few points I don't really agree with in the resolution, one of which being uh, the energy that he puts into talking about fixing the Senate. Um, as an Alberta sovereigntist or, or separatist, I don't care about the Senate in Ottawa. It's a broken institution, always has been. Those people are appointed by prime ministers and the Laurentian elite, and it's a status symbol. They don't even have to show up to work. They have no power. They can kind of send bills back to the House of Commons and recommend that they change them. There's no, it's not like the uh, United States where they actually have power and a check and a balance system. Uh, the Senate is purely just a uh, decoration and uh, a drain on the taxpayer dollar uh, that I don't want to have any more part of. So I don't care about senators or how many. It just, it, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't, either way, it's not going to affect us, good or bad. It's just the Senate. They do nothing. Uh, some of his other points are very good, uh, being basically a version of the firewall letter, uh, CPP being moved to an Alberta pension plan, that's an immediate first step that we can take, which is very important and needs to get done right away. Uh, the next thing he mentions was um, some of the procedures for a referendum. And he also mentions ending the contract with the RCMP and beginning policing our own province with an Alberta-run police force to replace the RCMP on that level. Uh, we already have sheriffs and the municipal police forces uh, on those two levels. So uh, very, very important step there because then we can take control of our uh, gun laws and uh, the uh, gun control laws that we need in Alberta are much, much different, vastly different than what the people of the greater Toronto area feel they need. And we do not want to be dictated to by the people of the greater Toronto area with a far different situation than we have here out west. Um, so all in all, a good resolution. It's good pressure on the Alberta government to uh, move towards uh, these steps. All the steps are going to be necessary to separate anyway. So anything that gets done is win-win for, uh, for the province and the citizens of Alberta. Um, it keeps the pressure on Mr. Kenny, which as I've said before, I believe he's an avowed federalist. He's stated he's an avowed federalist. I don't think he's going to change his mind and uh, jump on board with, uh, with us separatists. So um, any pressure that we can keep on him to make things better for Albertans is, is a win. Uh, so it's an interesting resolution at the, the last point that they added was uh, if the federal government does not deal in good faith and attempts to hinder our um, movement towards these uh, points and resolutions that a referendum will be held and interestingly enough they actually put a date on it and said a referendum will be held uh, to secede from confederation on October 18th 2021. Uh, so that's very interesting, and uh, I like that. And uh, it's a step in the right direction. So uh, go give it a read for yourself, see what you think, leave some comments, 
and uh, join me again tomorrow for another video and uh, take it easy.